So then guys, are we going to be getting an M5 and M5 Pro Mac Mini? Is it going to be coming out in 2025, 2026? Or will Apple completely skip out the M5 altogether inside of the Mac Mini? Well, today I want to go over all the details of everything we know so far. And also I want to include with you what kind of cores we could get with the M5 and the M5 Pro. But first of all, let's just quickly talk about where we are with the current Mac Mini. So the current Mac Mini is the one with the M4 and the M4 Pro inside of it, and it got announced and launched just before the end of 2024. It was the first time that Apple did a big design change on the Mac Mini, like in over 10 years. To be honest, almost 15 years since they actually did a big update to it. We've got this new form factor design now, and it's absolutely incredible. It's smaller, it's around about 50% in volume size smaller than the actual last generation of the Mac Mini. And so many of you guys love it, especially with the price of it starting at 599 US dollars, what gives you 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage for the standard M4 version. But then the big question is then, what about the next generation of the Mac Mini? If we were going to get an upgrade inside of it, what kind of chips and things are we going to see inside of it? Well, I believe it will be again the M5 and the M5 Pro going inside of the Mac Mini. Now, one thing I want to mention at this stage, obviously because we've just got an update to the design of the Mac Mini, that obviously no new design updates will be coming along to it. Like I just mentioned, that Apple kept the same design for like 12 plus years or whatever it was, you know, it's not going to happen anytime soon that we're going to get an update with the actual Mac Mini. So the design will probably stay exactly the same for a good number of years and a good number of generations. Well, not a bad thing because obviously it is fantastic. And I think the only one thing that a lot of you guys probably criticize is the power button on the back. And obviously that we wish this was something slightly different, but you know, it's not the worst thing in the world there. But for the next generation of the Mac Mini, one thing that we're going to get is obviously the new chip inside of it. And starting out with the M5 chip, what are we going to see there? Well, the current M4 chip right now gave us a 10-core CPU and it also gave us a 10-core GPU. That 10-core CPU is made up of six efficiency cores and four performance cores. Now, most likely that the M5 for the CPU part will be exactly the same. Six efficiency cores, four performance cores inside of it. But of course, those cores will be a lot faster than what we got with the current M4. Probably around about a 25% gain in speed in comparison overall in a multi-core kind of difference compared. And single core probably be a lot less there, but obviously that's what you'll get in total. But then for the actual GPU element of it, well, we're most likely going to get two more extra cores this time. If you remember when the M1 chip first came out, well, that actually came with eight GPU cores, but the M2 gave us 10 GPU cores. And ever since then, we've got to M3, then to M4, we've had no extra cores added to the baseline version. So this is probably the time that Apple could introduce this for the very first time. And this is great news to hear that we could be actually getting a 12 core CPU inside of it. Now, the other thing to mention is RAM amounts. Now, we just had that jump up to 16 gigabytes as the baseline in all Macs. So I can't really be seeing Apple pushing this up to 24 gigabytes as the baseline. So I think that the RAM configurations that we've got right now, the 16, the 24, and the 32 for the M4 will be exactly the same for the M5 this time round. But one thing that could possibly change is that Apple could be offering the 512 gigabytes of storage as the baseline amount this time because 256 gigabytes of storage is just not cutting it in 2025 or even into 2026. So yeah, hopefully the Apple will keep it at 512 gigabytes this time. And then obviously that that price of 599 US dollars may also stay the same. But then you may be asking, what about the M5 Pro? What could actually change here? 
Well, the M4 Pro at the moment inside of the Mac Mini, well, that actually comes along up to a 14 core CPU this time. So what you actually get with that is four efficiency cores, no matter what kind of configuration you pick, but you get up to 10 performance cores with it. That's what you can actually pick there. But potentially what could be happening is that Apple could increase those performance cores by two more this time round. We could actually get 12 performance cores and four efficiency cores as the maximum M4 Pro that you could pick from. Obviously, there'll probably be a bin down version too, but that would be the maximum you could get. And this would be great news to hear that we could get with this. And also it's the same with the GPU. Right now we get up to 20 cores of GPU cores with the M4 Pro, but the M5 Pro could actually introduce two more cores this time around. So we could actually get an offering up to 22 cores with it. Well, again, would be fantastic news to hear. Now, the same for RAM amount. I do not expect Apple to be upping the amount of RAM that you get with the Mac Mini. So probably the baseline with the M4 Pro will come with 24 gigabytes of RAM. Obviously, you can pick 48 or 64 gigabytes of RAM with that too. And it's the same with the actual storage offering as well. That right now, we get 512 gigabytes of storage. And depending if that previous M4 Mac Mini I talked about that the baseline becomes 512 gigabytes, that may be just maybe that the baseline amount of storage that you will get inside of the Mac Mini with an M5 Pro might actually go up to one terabyte because this will just make a lot of sense for Apple to do this as we rock on into 2026. But the pricing again is most likely going to stay exactly the same. So this still will be $1,399 US dollars. This is for the baseline version. It's a bin down M5 Pro probably. And obviously the lowest amount of storage and RAM inside there. And this is what you will get with this Mac Mini. But just quickly, guys, I want to tell you about the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. I'm giving away an iPad Pro to one lucky subscriber at the end of September time. And this is no ordinary iPad Pro. This here is a 13-inch OLED M4 iPad Pro, and it's also got one terabyte of storage. So that means it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and as I like to call it, the full fat version of the M4 chip, so a 10 core CPU and 10 core GPU inside of it. Plus also, this is a cellular version of the iPad Pro. And like I said, one lucky subscriber out there is gonna get their hands on it. And to enter into this iPad Pro international giveaway, all you have to do is just two things. The first thing you need to do is right now, it's just put down into the comments below of what technology devices you're hoping to get in 2025. Maybe it's gonna be a new iPad, maybe it's gonna be a new iPhone, maybe it's gonna be a new MacBook or iPad. Maybe it's got nothing to do with Apple whatsoever. It could be say a Nintendo Switch 2, a DJI drone, I don't know. Just put it down into the comments below right now. Now the other part of the giveaway is going to be happening at the end of September time and this is the second part what you've got to listen to and that is I'll be making a video around there where I'll be giving you even more details about the iPad Pro giveaway including a form to fill in and most importantly when I'm going to do the live stream to give away this iPad Pro. So if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on that video plus you want to be a subscriber too because obviously I'm giving giving this way to a subscriber. The last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonate me, tending to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message. Please do ignore these people, best you can see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this then, what about the likes of the release date and the price? So the prices I've kind of said, I've kind of covered already. So, you know, as I said, it's probably gonna stick around to be the 599 US dollars for the M5 normal, and then obviously about 1,399 US dollars for the likes of the M5 Pro. So really nothing will change there, but obviously tariffs could interfere with this, but we'll just have to wait and see. But obviously the second we know any news, I'll let you guys know. But then next of all then for the actual release date then, when are we gonna get our hands on a Mac mini with an M5 and M5 Pro? And in fact, is it even gonna come out? Well, we were expecting originally that we were gonna get the M5 chips before the end of 2025. And it looks like that still is gonna be the case because we're gonna get an iPad Pro with the M5 
and potentially also the Vision Pro to be updated with an M5 chip. But it looks like that say MacBooks, for example, are now being delayed out to the early part of 2026 when we're going to get them. But as you can see right here from this report from Mark Gurman, you can see that there's no report of any new Mac Mini or even an iMac to come out with the likes of an M5 in 2026. So it could be pushed out to the end half of 2026. This would be the latest that Apple would do this. But we've also heard rumors, obviously, that an OLED MacBook Pro may also come out at the end of 2026 too. So, you know, that might be straight up to M6. So this means that obviously that we could miss out completely on the M5. It's a little bit up in the air at the moment. What I would be saying though, is obviously as we get closer to the day and then once we're even into 2026, I think things will become a lot clearer if we're gonna get an M5 version of the Mac mini or not. But with that, then guys, are you excited for it? Would you get yourself an M5 Mac Mini if it came out? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye-bye.